This module will introduce you to the Ruckus OpenG and Citizens Broadband Radio Service, or CBRS, an LTE-based solution. OpenG is an exciting new Ruckus technology innovation that can vastly improve mobile coverage and capacity inside buildings. It utilizes shared spectrum on the CBRS band and enables venues to deploy an LTE network with the simplicity of Wi-Fi. Our legal disclaimer is just to remind you that this presentation is Ruckus Confidential. In this lesson, we'll introduce you to the Ruckus OpenG solution based on a CBRS LTE solution and the business case for using Ruckus OpenG. The following video will give a short overview of CBRS and the Ruckus OpenG benefits this technology will bring to our company and industry. Recently, the FCC did something really, really cool. They took a big chunk of spectrum that was being underutilized by the military and opened it up to cellular service. They called it CBRS, or Citizens Broadband Radio Service. Now this is incredibly valuable spectrum that they released. It's the telecom equivalent to finding an untouched continent full of treasure. What makes CBRS awesome is how we're going to use it to solve two major issues in cellular data. The first is called bandwidth crunch. Believe it or not, there's a limited amount of space in the air for radio waves. Basically, when you put too many devices in close proximity, all those data streams start to interfere with each other. Think of it as an invisible but equally annoying traffic jam. The 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz numbers you hear about are like traffic lanes for your data. CBRS fixes this by opening up a new lane for LTE cellular devices to use at 3.5 GHz. This brings new bandwidth to the building and lessens the burden on everything else. It's also a bit more structured than traditional Wi-Fi. Every small cell operating on CBRS is approved through a central spectrum access system. Its job is to manage and allocate the spectrum. This efficient management will ensure high signal quality and overall performance on CBRS. That means faster streaming for your cat videos with fewer random loading spikes while you're watching. Even better than checking your fantasy league two seconds faster, CBRS is going to make your phone better at actually being a phone. I'm talking call quality here. Everyone goes through it. Trying to call someone inside a big building means crappy reception. And this only gets worse as buildings get bigger and taller. Have you ever tried to call someone from the top of a hotel? You'd get better reception with two tin cans and a string. Hotels and offices could fix this by installing small cells throughout the building. Except right now, each mobile operator needs its own set of small cells, making this prohibitively expensive. CBRS saves the day here because it enables neutral hosts. That just means that it supports multiple network operators, so all of their customers can access it. So we're two minutes in, and you're probably wondering, what does Ruckus have to do with all this? CBRS is awesome, but someone has to actually build and test these neutral host small cells, which we're already hard at work on because we think it's important that you get through as much Reddit as possible on your bathroom break. Another big step to get this thing going is to make sure customers can connect to their regular cell providers, receiving and making calls as usual, but with great indoor coverage. For that, we're building a cloud platform that allows service providers enterprises and venues to easily enable access to their customers. We also have Ruckus OpenG LTE access points, some stand alone and some that snap into the existing Ruckus Wi-Fi access points. We call this product Portfolio OpenG. At the end of the day, things are moving fast toward better indoor coverage and capacity. And whether you're a service provider or an enterprise looking to be ready for the switch, we're here to help you out. So stay tuned for more from us on OpenG and we'll have you ready to rock with better voice and data indoors. If that doesn't make your tail wag, I don't know what will. The challenge of high quality in-building cellular coverage and capacity has been a long-standing one. Today, in-building macular cellular, whether 3G or 4G LTE radio signals attenuate as they pass through the fabric of a building, resulting in dead zones where there is no coverage at all or only intermittent coverage, which creates an in-building cellular challenge. This results in poor cellular performance, meaning disruption in service for anyone using a cell phone in a building. 
Another issue is that LTE has restricted bandwidth. Because it is a fixed resource, which is in demand by an increasing number of users, the radio spectrum has become increasingly congested in recent decades, and the need to utilize it more effectively is driving modern telecommunication innovations such as CBRS. If there is a way for mobile network operators, or MNOs, to offload some of their users from their towers to a smaller network, this helps them to utilize their bandwidth better. The Ruckus OpenG solution uses CBRS to solve these issues. The current solutions for in-building cellular fall short. Distributed antenna systems, or DAS, are expensive and complex to deploy and not cost-effective for smaller venues. Wi-Fi has great data capacity, but it has limitations. Mobility issues include onboarding issues such as passwords, which are time-consuming and can be hacked, handover issues when moving from one location to another, the lack of E911 and AMBER alerts, and quality of service or QoS issues due to crowded spectrum. Traditional small cells are an alternative solution, but they are expensive and complex to install and deploy. There is no clear multi-operator solution, as each mobile operator needs its own set of small cells, making this prohibitively expensive. The cost falls entirely on mobile network operators, which means it's limited by MNO CapEx priorities. Today, 80% of cellular is used indoors, but existing solutions only scratch the surface. 20% is addressed by existing solutions, such as distributed antenna systems or DAS systems, or mobile operators' microcells and picocells. 80% of the market is underserved. This is not a priority for mobile network operators because they can't make a profit in this space. Alternative solutions are not economical or they don't support all mobile operator subscribers. The Ruckus OpenG technology will enable this market because customer satisfaction is driving enterprise to fund solutions. So what is the solution? On April 17th of 2015, the FCC established a new Citizens Broadband Radio Service for Shared Wireless Broadband Use of the 3550 to 3700 megahertz band, which is a 3.5 gigahertz band. Rules governing the Citizens Broadband Radio Service are found in Part 96 of the Commission's Rules. It provides 15 10 megahertz unlicensed channels. It is free to use with a subscription to a central coordinated service called Spectrum Access System, or SAS, that assigns channels and regulates power levels of the network devices in order to share the spectrum in the most efficient manner. There are provisions to protect unlikely incumbent use and to purchase preferred status in localized governments. Some of the key benefits are that this spectrum is perfectly suited for indoor and high-density standard TD-LTE, it overlaps existing TDLTE bands worldwide. It avoids requirement for coordination of MNO macro cell networks. It provides more controlled, higher QoS than the ISM or UNI unlicensed bands used for Wi-Fi. And it enables massive reuse. If you control the building, you own the spectrum. This chart compares the TCO cost comparison for an enterprise to install various types of in-building cellular solutions. Wi-Fi is the cheapest at 53 cents per square foot for a 200,000 square foot building, but as we've mentioned earlier, Wi-Fi does not address the LTE in-building issues. For an LTE enterprise solution, a distributed antenna system, or DAS, is the most expensive, with MNO small cells coming in as the second most expensive solution. This is because an MNO small cell solution would have to support multiple MNO operators. As a result, CBRS OpenG is very price competitive at 76 cents per square foot. OpenG is an exciting new ruckus technology innovation that can vastly improve mobile coverage and capacity inside buildings. It utilizes shared spectrum on the CBRS band and enables venues to deploy an LTE network with the simplicity of Wi-Fi. This is a new business opportunity for all service providers, enabling them to deliver to enterprise and venues in-building cellular LTE coverage with no spectrum ownership required. Our first goal is to use OpenG to go after the in-building cellular and private LTE solutions, enabling building owners of all sizes to deploy cost-effective in-building cellular coverage for all of their customer and employee needs. Ruckus's vision offers a significantly less expensive easier to deploy mobile network neutral alternative to DASC and traditional small cells. In the future, Ruckus will be addressing additional markets in the fixed wireless access, mobile capacity augmentation, and alternative mobile footprint. 
The OpenG solution is also an opportunity for managed service providers. Most enterprises and retail stores are not big enough to cut roaming contracts with the major operators such as Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint. MSPs can act as the middleman operator similar to what they've done with DAS, but with a cheaper solution. They can put up a tower on a central roof in a big city and then use the CBRS OpenG solution to connect an enterprise SMB such as a healthcare, retail, education, hospitality, or public venue to the major operators. This will allow the MNOs to get a massive footprint expansion at little to no cost. The OpenG solution will fix coverage problems and require no change to the operator's core network. This slide describes how a Ruckus OpenG in-building cellular solution works. If the MNO client subscriber is outside, they would connect directly to their carrier's macrocellular base station via the transmitting tower signal. When the MNO subscriber with a 3.5 GHz radio client walks into the enterprise with a Ruckus OpenG solution, their client automatically connects to the Ruckus CBRS LTE shared spectrum small cell access points. From here, the signal back calls through a CBRS MNO gateway through a neutral host network or a network functions virtualization cloud technology back to the LTE provider's core network. From the user's perspective, they won't notice anything as the process is automatic, just as when they drive down the road and switch from one microcell to another. No Wi-Fi to connect to, no passwords to enter, no chance of getting hacked. For private LTE solutions, CBRS has several major advantages over existing technologies. It provides carrier class quality of service because it's a cleaner spectrum due to centrally coordinated channel assignment by SAS and it uses a scheduler for device channel access instead of carrier sensing CSMA as used in Wi-Fi. It can have low-cost exclusive access if required via a Priority Access License or PAL license. It has end-to-end -end QoS tagging and prioritization and is ideal for voice and two-way video. It is also ideal for the Internet of Things and machine-to-machine -machine applications. CBRS has improved coverage in battery life up to four times the coverage footprint improvement over Wi-Fi and up to 11 times if the LTE target application is voice. It has orthogonal frequency division multiple access or OFDMA and single carrier frequency division multiple access scheme or SC-FDMA for higher spectral efficiency and power density. It provides better mobility security and convenience. It provides handovers and session continually both in network and to or from other mobile networks. It has LTE class security and SIM authentication and it provides fully automatic onboarding, authentication and registration. You don't have to look for an SSID, login or use passwords. Currently in the United States 3.5 GHz handsets are just coming to the market. In the next several years, we expect most handsets to adopt this technology in their chipsets. 3.5 GHz LTE is very active outside the U.S. Internationally, where other regions have adopted 3.5 GHz, it is in the license spectrum. Docomo, SoftBank, and KDDI have launched mobile services in Japan. Dozens of European, Asian, Latin America, and African countries have allocated 3.5 GHz. Many are watching U.S. adoption to implement similar rules. LTE Band 48 has been approved by 3GPP and an approved work item in 3GPP RAN 4. It is backed by AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Google, QC, Intel, Ericsson, Nokia, and Ruckus. Cellular chip vendors are committed. The QC Snapdragon X16 LTE modem is shipping and X20 announced their commitment. The next steps are for the mobile network operators to drive handset vendors. These requirements must come from the MNOs. Even if the chipsets are supported, it still will require testing. Then MNO and MSO requirements will drive handset availability for in-building cellular and private LTE. In summary, the industry is in the midst of a dramatic shift as cellular and Wi-Fi technologies converge. For enterprises, the benefits include significant reduction in customer and employee dissatisfaction, the support of subscribers from all MNOs, no complex technical sign-off with MNOs, and predictable cost and service models. Benefits for mobile network operators include zero-cost in-building coverage and capacity expansion at a massive scale, maintaining subscriber revenue and control, and KPI monitoring to ensure adequate end-user experience within buildings. 
For managed service providers, new business opportunities, practical in-building cellular coverage offerings for mid-tier enterprise and venues with similar tools and processes as Wi-Fi managed services. OpenG solutions are very easy to deploy and provide an attractive total cost of ownership while improving in-building performance. Thanks for taking the time to view this lesson.